hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my next video which is something i've never done before so bear with me i'm not really sure how this is gonna work out it is a spend a week with me at uni online in my house vlog like i said i've never done one of these like vlogging sort of taking the camera with me everywhere sort of youtube videos so it'll be quite fun to see how this goes excuse my kind of lack of effort <laughs> and my pajamas so i thought that i would bring you guys along with me for a week of online lectures and how my life kind of pans out doing nursing while at home and while during a global pandemic which is really fun i tend to get up have a workout have some breakfast then i start lectures but it's gonna be a little bit rusty and i'm not really sure how the video is gonna turn out so it is now half eight on sunday evening and i am getting ready for bed and to binge watch like 10 episodes of vampire diaries I'm not even ashamed. So I've just done my skincare routine, which is probably why I look a little bit oily. And I have set my alarm for half seven tomorrow morning to get up and do my workout before lectures. Um, on Sunday evenings, I tend to just have a look over my timetable for the week. And I kind of just really prepare myself for the week, really. That's why I don't really like Sunday evenings, because it feels like I'm just waiting for a week of early mornings working out and hard uni work to begin. It is super, super sunny, which is really nice. Here he is. Hey. You can all the background. So it is now Monday morning and I am up and ready for my workout before my lectures. I tend to just do like a cardio hit for like half an hour, 40 minutes. Then I, today I'll do like a core workout. So sunny. That is my hit done. Um, so I am now going to do a quick 20 minute core workout for my non-existent abs and then... That would be my workout done for the day. I use a Joe Wicks one. Um, it's like a 20 minute one. And I just use that because it really makes me really feel the burn. And I'm not going to sit here and like talk you through my ab workout. I figured to be a lot more chilled for my workouts um, than I used to be. I tend to second guess myself a lot, but I've just got to have patience. I am now all set up, ready to start my lectures, and I actually have a bit of a later start today. I'm starting at quarter past ten instead of ten, which is an absolute treat. So my breakfast today is actually is a protein shake, and I've never had a protein shake before. So for breakfast, I have been having yogurt with granola and frozen berries and fruit. Um, but I thought that I would start having protein shakes for breakfast and then have that or boiled eggs or something for lunch. Keep really healthy during the week and then at the weekends I snack a bit more and eat what I like. <laughs> and I'm not really sure how you make them and I'm not really sure which one I'm going to have today. But we've all got to start somewhere, right? I don't have a scoop. That didn't go well. I've overcome the issue of not having a scoop and I googled it. And then I kind of put it all in here and then I shook it and I didn't put this on so it kind of went everywhere. It looks so yummy. I can't wait. Oops. I went for salted caramel. Okay, I'm going to try it now. I feel like I've shook it up enough. I think I put too much water in it. Um, and it probably would be nice with milk. So I might try it with milk tomorrow. And this is the first day of the rest of my healthy, athletic life. Jokes. And tomorrow, when I make it, I'm going to remember to put the lid on, I think. Would probably be a good idea. So I am now all ready for my first lecture, um, which starts in five minutes. I just set myself up like this. I've got my laptop here and my notebook here. Um, I tend to just sit here for the rest of the day, to be honest, and it goes really quickly. So when I log on to my session, this is what I see. So my lecturer has shared the PowerPoint with us, um, and then she will come on camera and speak there. We all have a chat box here where we can discuss, but I can also put my microphone and 
my camera on if needed. So this is my first lecture of the week and it is an introduction to ventilation. I assume that that will involve a lot about um, intubation and giving oxygen and um, supporting the airways and breathing of a child. Um, but we shall see. Peripheral and this mum just gets to have this lovely moment with the baby. I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> I have just finished my first lecture of the day. It was quite a long one. So we discussed the reasons for ventilation and we looked at the types of ventilation and breathing. So I have now just finished my last lecture of the day. I did only have two today, but they have been super long ones. I had complications in pregnancy. So we just tended to talk about like normal childbirth, um, the kind of stages of it um, and then we looked at cesarean sections as well so I found that really interesting actually because we don't look that much into the process of birth and giving birth because obviously that's more with midwifery but when we do I find it really interesting because it really just paints the picture of being a child nurse so these are my notes for this lecture so I've got quite a funny story actually. I was just sitting here, so I'm home alone and absolutely fine, like it's daytime, like I don't really get that spooked or anything. I sat here and I was like, I really hear something, like what do I hear? It's like somebody's upstairs or something like that. I saw a man walk through my back gate and I was like, oh my God, this is it. And then he just started washing the windows. So it turned out to be the window cleaner. And I was like, oh, Hello, nice to see you too. It was so awkward and actually scared the life out of me. I have read through a couple of research papers for my literature review and it is now half past three in the afternoon. And actually, this is quite early for me to finish all my work. So I'm gonna treat myself to the afternoon in the garden, probably watch a couple of episodes of Vampire Diaries. Also, just a quick review on my protein shake that I had this morning. I didn't listen to anybody when they told me not to have it with water and to have it with milk. Water is a lot more healthy. So I was like, oh, I'll try it with water. Not really thinking. Like, I didn't even think that it would taste gross. And like, I managed to drink it, but by the end I was gagging. Just don't make a milkshake with water is the moral of that story. It is now Tuesday. Um, I have been up since half eight i had done my workout i had a protein shake i had a chocolate brownie one and i did have it with milk and it was so much nicer than my water yesterday i didn't have to gag it down myself so tuesdays and thursdays are my days off uni but they're not actually days off uni we just don't have any set lectures on them days so on our timetable it is self-directed study which means we get to choose what studying we do so i am drowning in quite a lot of work at the minute so today i am doing work on my literature review and i am just reading some literature papers i haven't actually started writing my literature review yet i'm kind of still reading around my topic and what papers i want to include i'm not too far behind on my other pieces of work and they're not due in for quite a while yet so my main priority is getting all my literature review papers ready i'm not too stressed at the minute i say so i'm not actually doing anything that interesting today it's just another day sitting here on my laptop reading it's actually quite a chilled week this week i don't feel too far behind or too stressed i decided to make some boiled eggs on toast for lunch today yummy you're just after food yes you are brady absolutely loves my on toast don't you here you go give me a paw give me a paw good boy here you go here you go So that is another day done for uni. It has been a long one today. It's felt like it's a long one. I thought that I was gonna finish a lot earlier than this, but had quite a big break for lunch, I guess. I have now 12 research papers. I have read through three today, I've annotated them and stuff. I'm just gonna chill again. Not much to vlog, to be honest. Got toad in the hole for dinner. It's exciting. But other than that, 
I'm just gonna watch some more episodes of Vampire Diaries. I think I watched six yesterday. And get ready to be up early again tomorrow for another day of lectures. Hi guys, it is Wednesday morning, halfway through the week, we're getting there. Excuse my no makeup face today, I cannot be bothered for makeup. I have just finished my workout and had a shower. So today I have two lectures. Um, I have a literature review seminar and then I have a seminar on neonatal issues which will be really interesting. A lot of this topic has been around neonates because it's quite an intensive care and complex topic. So you want to ask any, any... Yeah. I I'm so tired. So I just had my lecture on um, critically appraising my research for my literature review and it has sent my head into overdrive have some more eggs for lunch today watch earrings with vampire diaries <laughs> yummy so i have just finished the first part of my afternoon lectures we learned about jaundice in neonates and um, the causes of it what to look out for the measurements of it phototherapy and then some complications in the treatment. So I now have my final half of my afternoon lectures for the end of the day, um, because I'm not gonna read a research paper today, just because I'm so tired. I don't know if you can tell. So my last presentation is on an introduction to neonatal developmental care, which will be super, super interesting. So that is a, another day of lectures. I should really stop swinging on my chair because I'm definitely gonna fall off one day. So my last lecture was actually really interesting. It kind of consolidated all the knowledge that I had learned on NICU and working with all the preemie babies. So we went through the developmental care of a neonate, the benefits of it. We looked at their brain development, the positioning, of course, I added lots of different pictures. We looked at um, supportive environments, noise reduction, um, light reduction, their pain and their stress. We looked at kangaroo care. And we looked at the care we then give them. It has been a very, very long one today, even though I have said that every day. So I am now going to pack my stuff away and of course watch some episodes of Vampire Diaries. So I have just got back from walking my little pup. Hey, my little puppy. Now I have decided to cook dinner, which is a rarity when I'm at home. To say the least, and I think my uni house would back me up massively here, I am not a good cook. I am too clumsy, I'm too forgetful, but I am cooking spaghetti bolognese. It's very tomatoey. My pasta, and then the best bit. Reasons why I don't cook. Brilliant. Oh, look at that garlic bread. I think I've saved it. Looks quite nice. Besides that situation. Oops. Hi guys. So I have just finished my Thursday morning workout. Um, it was a really, really tough one this morning. I'd done like an hour long workout video. I burnt 538 calories and my heart rate peaked at 188, which is mad. So I feel really good for it. I'm trying a vanilla milkshake today. It tastes more like white chocolate than it does vanilla. I would say this on par with like strawberry. Like they're both quite nice. So it is now half 10. I was a little bit late again up this morning, a little bit later doing my workout. If this video has taught you anything, it's probably taught you that my life is literally on repeat, Monday to Friday. I relive the same day over and over again every week. I'm just sitting on the floor to be honest, it's comfy. I lean against this and I am, I'm chilled. Anyway. I was chilled, oops. As you can see, that well entering broke my fan. I can't even remember what I was gonna say now. So today is obviously another self-directed study day. So I got up, had worked out, had a shower, and then I planned to have another mock test for my exam tomorrow. However, it turns out that there is no more mock tests available today. And yesterday was the last day to practice, which actually is fine. I generally feel quite confident for my exam tomorrow. So I'm not that worried about not having a mock exam. A lot of you have been complimenting me on this jumper. So I thought I'd just put it out there and say it's from top 
top shop if anyone wanted to get it it's really cute when i brought it i thought that i looked a little bit like a squashy but i actually really like it i think it was about like 35 pounds something like that but yeah that's from top shop if any of you wanted to get it so yeah, I'm just going to really read through a couple more research papers for my literature review today. Another chill day, no plans as per usual. I just watched Leah's new YouTube video, which is literally the highlight of my week when she releases, releases a video. So check that out, check out her channel. I can't remember what I was going to say again. So this is what I tend to work with. These are all my Medline articles for my research, my literature review. I'm up to reading this one. So I have one, two three, four, five left to read. But yeah, it's all a work in progress. So I know that I started my work upstairs, but I've decided to come downstairs now just because I kept it getting distracted upstairs. But I have read through two research papers. So that is two more studies and papers looked at and I have two more to do before I've read through all my studies that I'm going to use in my literature review. So my exam tomorrow morning is a safe Medicaid exam and it is basically medication calculations. It sounds awful but it really isn't that difficult. It looks confusing on the actual exam but once you know what numbers you need to take out of like the prescription then like it's quite easy. I have to get 90% to pass and I can use a calculator so I'm not that worried about it. I've been getting like 95 to 100% on all my mark. Come on Lucas. Why? I've got a wangle. <laughs> you what? I've got a wangle. Why? Oh, he's suffering with hay fever. Oh, that is a bit of a bad wang eye. So my exam tomorrow is obviously online, but it would have been online anyway because Safe Medicaid is like an internet base. So I'm just going to do mixed practice questions. So this is what I see when I log on. So this is a first practice question. So we want to be looking at the dose, which is 300. And then we want to be looking at the medication, which is 300 and it comes in one capsule. And obviously you put in the units like so. So then you put your little thing in there. And then there we go. That is literally all it is. You also get ones like this that are tablets and the tablets just look like that. So this is what it looks like for a liquid one. The same principle applies, but you just pull up the syringe like this, which is super, super satisfying. Just for confidential reasons, obviously all of this information here is made up and not actually true. So once you've got your head around it and like I've been doing this for the last two years now, it really is simple and like you just kind of get into the habit and know what you're pressing and stuff. Then we have an injection calculation, which is the same formula, what you want over what you've got times what it comes in. So you just pull the syringe back like that. The final calculations we do as nurses are IV calculations, which are intravenous calculations. These are a little bit more difficult, um, but again, once you've got the hang of the formula, it's really, really simple. And as student nurses, we're not actually allowed to give IVs um, out on practice, but we are allowed to assist drawing them up with qualified nurses. So this is kind of mimicking a machine that you actually see on practice and how you set it up. Then we come to this bit, which will give you the amount of drops per minute. And then like this, we just put it up. So this patient will be getting 25 drops a minute to get their total 300 mils over two hours. That one's a little bit more complicated, but again, with practice um, and with teaching, and especially out on practice, it's a lot easier to understand. So I just showed you guys the safe Medicaid um, kind of practice questions that I've done. So I've been doing them pretty much every day this week for like an hour, ready for my exam tomorrow. I'm quite excited to get it over and done with. It can seem confusing probably watching it as maybe a first year or as someone who hasn't even gone into nursing yet. I might do a separate video on talking about medication calculations and how to do IV calculations and stuff like that because once you've got the hang of it it's really really simple and I think everyone on my course can back me up there that like when you first start to do it you're like I really don't get this and especially when you go out and practice and see it right in front of you 
and you're doing it with the nurse it kind of all just clicks so yeah that's pretty much my thursday at uni it's not much today thursday is always quite my chill days it'll be a busy day tomorrow so give myself some time to relax this afternoon there sausage rolls there that's a bake of some sort and then there's some chocolate twists Oh, which your dad's nice. Thanks, Dad. My first Greg's and Costa since we went into lockdown. Where are we going? She's coming. Get run over by someone, so. Oh dear. Oh, my train is going to get wrecked here. No chance. No, I ain't paying 100 quid for a pair of trains to get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> so weirdly didn't I it is finally nearly the weekend I have one more day left of uni it is 11 o'clock so I am super delayed today I still got up early but I've done a bit of an extra long workout then I had a shower and then I decided to fake tan because I haven't faked tanned in so long and it actually feels so good like and now I'm just kind of doing my face and my makeup and just going to take my hair out of this plait. And then I have got my exam. So it's quite a chilled Friday. I'm meant to be seeing my friends this evening, but it is looking like it's super stormy. And me and my friends are absolutely awful at making plans. We're all hopeless, to be honest. I'm in a really good mood today. Had a chocolate protein shake, which was super nice. Um, I don't think I'm really doing much this weekend, to be fair. Um... It's Father's Day on Sunday, so just need to write Dad's card and wrap up his presents. But other than that, um, yeah, I'm not really doing anything. Actually, no, that is such a lie. I'm going to Norwich tomorrow. I just completely forgot about that. I am going back to Norwich tomorrow to see definitely Leo and Ellie, and I don't know who else is coming. I am so excited. So obviously, we're not going inside the house, and obviously, we're having a social distance picnic but i'm just so excited just to see them and just to have a massive catch up and i think it's going to be really really emotional going back to the uni house just for a day but i am planning in a couple of weeks time depending on how the law changes and stuff to move back to uni for a couple of weeks i've lived with sophia my whole uni experience and i'm not going to for third year so i want to get a couple of weeks living with her and saying goodbye which is going to be super emotional and i'll probably vlog the whole thing and just be crying during the whole thing like i normally do so i just completely lied saying that i wasn't doing anything this weekend because i actually am which makes a change and then sunday i am meant to be going to thetford forest with my family to meet our friend but if the weather carries on like this my whole weekend is based around sunshine as you can see once again i've put zero effort into my face today during the week i just don't there's just no point sitting here and doing really nice makeup i love having my hair in like a braid overnight because it just really gives this nice little wave i am in such desperate need of a haircut look how long it is i was born with like thick black jet hair so my hair is so so thick and like obviously i haven't had a haircut in like probably four months it's just uncontrollable fashion so i am now all set up for my exam and ready to hopefully smash it it is my last exam of second year so it feels like this day has been a long time coming however don't be fooled just because it's my last second year exam today doesn't mean second year is over because i still have 
my portfolio meeting, my portfolio doing, um, end of year review, a reflective assignment, maternity outcomes, so much to still hand in. You know, what can you do? Nothing. I can do nothing. But yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes afterwards. I have just finished my exam and it went really well. It took me a lot longer um, than all my mocks have done because I was like second guessing myself at every question, like double checking it. And now I am making some eggs on toast. Trying to keep it as healthy as possible. Love you. Oh, he loves me so much. And I've just burnt my toast which is just brilliant, that really hurt. So I literally am gonna eat my lunch and then I have one more lecture of the week left. Look at him. This is what it's like when I'm making food, isn't it? You just sit here and beg, don't you? See my issue? Stop following me. And this is the finished product. Looks exactly the same as the other days that I've eaten it. That's because it is exactly the same. As you can see, I have fixed my fan just about. Very fragile. So I am finished for the week now. I have just finished my Friday lectures and my Friday work. And it's safe to say I am well and truly absolutely buzzing for this weekend. So I just had my lecture on non-touch technique. It was quite a short lecture just because um, obviously non-touch technique is quite a practical skill for nurses rather than a lot of theory. It hasn't got that much theory behind it other than the fact you're trying to prevent contamination and infection. So it would have been better as a practical session, but obviously due to the current circumstances, which is a global pandemic, we can do that. So it was quite a short lecture. So we looked at what all the words mean, like sterile and clean, etc. We looked at the difference between surgical and standard non-touch technique, um, the different protection sites, and then we just went over the procedure itself and the key parts. So yeah, that was my final lecture of the week. Done. I probably should have done that. I've just realised how orange I look. I literally look like... I've just bathed in my fake tan, which I basically have. I leave it on for so long, which is so bad. But So after that lecture, I decided that I was going to finish reading my research papers for my literature review this week. So I now have my final 14 research papers that I'm going to use, which is quite a lot. It's all just one big muddle. So I've written a couple of summaries and I've written a themes table so i am ready to take this all to my tutor next week for my literature review meeting this literature review is going to be the death of me so yeah i've spent the last two hours just going through them reading the final bit and that is my week complete i feel super happy it's been a long week. It hasn't been my most intense. It's been quite a chilled week, but it's still quite draining when you're constantly doing the same thing every day. And you'll all be glad to know that I do actually have plans tonight. So I'm super excited to go do that and have a few drinks and just chill. It's just gonna be a really nice, well-deserved weekend, I think. And then I am back on Monday with basically the same whole week. When you are doing a degree like nursing, which is a practical degree, it's very, very hard to get the full kind of picture of it when you are learning from your dining room table. But we move. It's just been a really productive week. I'm quite pleased and I hope this video turned out okay. I hope it is a really, really boring for you guys, probably really random and there'll be some little random bits in there. But it's been really, really fun to kind of vlog a week because um, I've never done this before. All my friends say that I talk too much and I should do more vlogging and here we go. This is proof that I talk too much. That is it for my spend a week with me online learning vlog. I hope you guys kind of got a brief insight as to what like a week of doing nursing online is about and how very repetitive my weeks are up until the middle of August but that's fine I'm sorry if it hasn't been that exciting but I kind of just wanted to show you guys what I've kind of gone through with this kind of pandemic thing and how it's all kind of worked out for me even though this online learning and being an opt-out student wasn't my initial decision and I wanted to do placement I'm really happy and content with the way this has all worked out and the way that I'm cracking on with module five. I'm loving every minute. Yeah, I just feel like it's going quite well. Touch wood. As I always say, 
message me, comment, any suggestions that you have or any questions that you have or anything like that. I'm here to help you guys at the end of the day. Like, comment and subscribe. Please share my channel with anybody, really. <laughs> Just anybody that like you know who's going to uni, wants to do nursing, anything like that. As I'm filming this, I'm two subscribers of 100, which isn't much, I know that isn't much, but 100 is such a good milestone and I'm really excited to hit it. So once we hit 100, I will then be going for 250 and then I want 250,000. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not. <laughs> Depending on how this vlog turns out, I might do more like this. It will be really good once I actually get back to uni and I move back to uni and I can start doing more practical vlogs for you guys. But for now, I will leave you all and I will go and binge Vampire Diaries. <laughs> which I highly recommend. But yeah guys, thank you for watching. If you've made it to the end, thank you. And I, yeah, hope it's given you a nice insight. I hope you are all staying positive and well still, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.